I seem to have lost my voice overnight. Which is odd for me. Um, I, I'm just going to go and have some breakfast. <coughs> See? And then we're going to go outside. And the reason we're going to do that is... Can you see up there? It's been snowing. Welcome to another episode of... Trophy Stupid Vlog! So I dreamt it snowed and then it did, so I must be a soothsayer because, you know, otherwise it never happens in December in the Alps. Above a thousand metres. Anyway, have a look. Looks lovely. Quite cold, unsurprisingly. So, today's plan or might have to be modified slightly. I was going to go around to the other side of the lake and then down to the other, uh, down the valley to the next lake, the one I came up from, Schlize. It's still feasible. I'll probably need my grips, but uh, we'll give it a go. Now, I know what you're thinking. Thinking he's overdressed. And you could be right, I mean, I'm wearing three layers of trousers, four layers on the top, I have two sets of gloves, a balaclava and a reflective thing on my backpack. However, you know, better safe than sorry. I'm attempting to cross a mountain. I've taken provisions and water and, uh, and it's cold. So let's go. That's where we're going. So, we're continuing around the lake. It's very white, but um, the temperature's actually gone up a bit. In fact, <laughs> shock horror, I'm overdressed. Um, so the snow has turned to sleet, and I think it'll eventually turn to rain, to be honest. Although tomorrow the temperature's supposed to drop again, so you might have a couple of inches of snow then, properly at which point I'll have to see whether it's actually feasible to actually go for a walk. At the moment, as you can see, the path is pretty good. Look, that's where I've come from. But none of the cable cars are running yet because, well, there's not enough snow to ski on. Okay, so... <laughs> I have made it round the lake and I parked the way up the hill, but I'm now in two minds as to whether this is the brilliant, most brilliant idea I've ever had. Um, I can certainly do the walk, the problem is can I see the path? Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of exploring and if it's just too, you know, snowy and stupid then I'm going to retrace my steps using the GPS tracker that I've set when I started off and uh, go back. Um, I'm hoping it's doable, but if it's not, it's not. You just gotta better be safe than sorry with these kind of things. I don't want to be lost in the mountains in the snow, so <laughs> let's give it a go. It's amazing. The only thing I can describe it like is um, if you've ever read a lot of C.S. Lewis, it's like Narnia. I mean, it's not really thick snow, it's just this nice sort of icing sugar on top of everything. The road's pretty clear at the moment, but we're going to go very small bits at a time. Now, as you can see, the uh, snow plough hasn't bothered to clear any further than here. Now, I'm not very far up, if I'm honest. No more than half a kilometre. But it's still snowing. My concern is but it's still a good kilometre and a half to the next to the next stop, to the next house which is closed incidentally, it's a burger restaurant so it may be a little foolish now that's not to say I'm not usually a little foolish it's just not worth it I don't think I might see if I can get the bus down to Chilize or just uh, go back and go around the lake is very nice after all. You know you've made the right call when the weather starts suddenly closing in. Ah. 
and you can almost see the headlines now. Man lost in blizzard. Yeah, I'm heading back. <laughs> In an unsurprising move. I seem to, un unsurprising move seem to be my uh, trademark, to be honest. But you know what? In some weathers, predictability is the key. This being one of the weathers. You see, this is the thing about the mountains. One minute it's Narnia, and the next minute it's Hoth. And you've got to kill a Tonton and sleep inside it just to stay alive. Um, I don't have a Tonton, so I'm just going to go for the head for the hotel option. ASAP. <laughs> yeah. I've had to put everything away, wrap up, put my balaclava and hood on because we're blizzard mode. And not the good kind of blizzard to make World of Warcraft. The bad kind. Not gonna lie, a little bit scary this weather. <laughs> That said, this is exactly why I came. So I can't complain too much. But um, yeah, this is a real blizzard. I'm not cold because I'm, as I explained, I'm wearing like 300 layers of clothing, but visibility is very low. The wind is quite strong. The path is at least very clear and the GPS is working magnificently. However, still not ideal conditions. <laughs> Everything takes three times longer in a blizzard. And when you say, oh, my phone froze, what you actually mean is, no, it actually froze. <laughs> got icicles hanging off me, that's not even an exaggeration. Let's see if I get to a mirror. So oh, I'm back. I have snow on me. Lots of it. <laughs> and my hair's gone mental. Ah, so here we are up on the roof. It stopped snowing, but um, it's very white. There's not that much snow up on the hillside if you look there. I mean, it's very thin. Well, that's my building. It's certainly cold though. Very cold, and I'm only wearing a t shirt. Lots of them. Welcome to the sauna. <clears throat> it's all done like a wood cabin. It's very nice. This is the cooler one. This is only 50 degrees. 60 degrees, according to that. Oh. So these are the saunas and fancy showers including bucket on the head. There's the lake. I think the sun's coming out, that's ridiculous. It's very nice in here. I don't know if I showed you this before, this is the foyer of um, my bit of the hotel. It's quite dark, low lighting. A little internet terminal, a little cafe. That takes you down to the tunnel, up to the um, rooms. Nice box, not ice cream box, sadly. Ice box. A nice little centerpiece with various um, you know, festive things. So there we go, I'm now going to go over to the main hotel and have some dinner. Or maybe actually go out and have some dinner. So I've eaten, um, I wandered, wandered around the whole town pretty much trying to find a different restaurant and as it turned out they're all closed because it's the off season. So apart from the one in the hotel, or the two in the hotel, and the one I ate in yesterday, that is it. But I shouldn't be too surprised to be honest. Um, so I had a very nice meal. I probably had far too rich a food and I'm going to have indigestion in only a matter of minutes. So uh, so I'm going to go to bed and um, leave the camera doing some night photography while I'm asleep. 
Look, I'm in the Bavarian Alps in December and it's snowing. Yeah, maybe not the most shocking thing you'll see all day. Uh, the wind's much lower than yesterday, but the snow is coming down at quite a rate. Um, not sure how well you can see that on this camera, but trust me, it is. Well, hello and good morning. Um, it's doing this again. Yeah, and I'm doing this again. I'm dressed like an abominable snowman and I'm going off. I'm not going to go up a mountain this time. I'm going to go down one. I figure, you know, <laughs> it's easier, right? Much easier. So um, why don't you come with me and hope this time there's no blizzard. So this is where I branch off differently. Yesterday I went straight ahead. Uh, today I'm going right, which goes up initially but then down toward Schliersee, which is the bigger lake that I came up from when I arrived. It's snowing quite heavily, but there's almost no breeze. So visibility's not bad, and uh, I mean it's not great. You can see the other side of the lake though, <laughs> sort of 150 metres or so. Um, it's very wintry, very wonderlandy, and uh, not not as cold as I was expecting, but a little colder than yesterday. So, onwards and up and downwards. So this is a Spittingsgattel, which I would imagine translates something as like Spitting's Gate, the gateway to Spittingsay. Now up there, you might be able to see a window in the rock. That's presumably an old Second World War bunker of some variety. We've got to go that way, which looks very um, white. <laughs> Mind you, every way looks very white. It's crazy. Going into the wood. At least that's the plan. Can you see the mountains in the mist? That's where we just come from. It's uh, It feels especially remote in this weather, let's put it like that. What a stunning walk. I mean, made doubly stunning by the weather. Made doubly precarious as well, I should say. You spend a lot of time checking your footholds. Um, but really, wow. I mean, this is what I came for. Walk to Austria was fun. But I really came to see it in the snow. I'd never seen the Alps in the snow. It sounds ridiculous. But there we go. And you know, it's, it's the homeland. I know a lot of you joke about me being French and what have you and having a French name. Well, that's part of my family. Left France a few hundred years ago. My mother's family on the other hand was German. So I'm far more German than I am French. They left Germany in the 1930s, so that's much more recently. I can see a sign down there, and that's where I'm going. Onwards, um, about an hour away now. This is the route of the old railway I may have told you about in the last vlog, uh, that used to run up from Schillersee up into the High Bavarian Alps just before the Austrian border. Would have been an amazing train track. It only lasted seven years, which is a bit of a shame in the 20s. But um, I'm going to walk it instead. A little slower, just as beautiful. So there's the sign, we're only 45 minutes away. Oh, shot. And it um, goes along here. This is... There's my creation. I call him Herman the Cliché. He seems very happy, so I'll leave him be. I've got to head off down to the station, into the woods. Okay, I've got to cross that. That looks perfectly safe. Yep, going well. Oh, and another. This, like a, just look at the piles of snow on each branch. Amazing. This would presumably be a stream if it was warm enough. Oh, it's, it's a little bit of water. And it runs down to the river, feeds the lake. Precarious bridge. Continue through my winter paradise walk.
the lake. Now, see, this is ridiculous. They put you along here and then they say, Stop! We're doing forestry things. Diversion! Do you want to check out the diversion? Seriously, like, how was that a diversion? By diversion, I presume they mean death trap, but um, there's no choice. There is literally a logger up ahead cutting things, so wish me luck. This path gets sillier and sillier. But those church bells tell me I'm not far away. So that's got to be a good thing. Lots of little birdies taking to ground. Right, on to Neuhaus. Yay, civilization. Uh, expensive looking holiday home civilization. Then we are down where the money is. So, Zum Bahnhof. How good your German? Means to the station. So that's where we shall go. So I decided to continue on from Neuhaus station um, to get to Schillersee. You have to walk the length of the lake. I think that's doable. I'm just going to check. Um, it's only the wind that concerns me. The weather has basically not changed since I left. I mean, I think it's beautiful. It's certainly not a lot of visibility. Wow, that farm's got a good um, aroma. There's a little island in the lake, yeah, which has a restaurant on it. I don't think you can really get there today. But uh, here we are. This is Schliersee lake itself. The town with the same name is at the other end. So I've just taken shelter temporarily in a hut to have some lunch because it's about one o'clock. Now there's a quick look Let's see what we can see. That is Fishhausen Neuhaus. Two little towns joined together. That's the church by the station where I've come from. And that is the island in the lake. And that is Schliersee, the town where I'm going to. Over there. So, all in all, not bad. Here's my hut. What do you think? It's a fixer upper, let's be honest. Oh, it's lovely though. I think it's warming up a bit. I think the snow is turning to sleet now. Just on the outskirts of town. Coming through the wood. It's a bit more deciduous here. Still very beautiful. An incredible walk. I wonder what it's like in the summer. Probably equally awesome, but slightly less dangerous. Right, I'm going to have a look around town and catch the bus back. Hello. So, um, this morning I woke up, went outside the room to go and, uh, go and have breakfast and found this. Ah, uh, Chocolate Santa. Chocolate Santas have been left by, um, well, presumably real Santa. I mean, don't know who else. I did see a man wandering around saying ho, ho, ho a lot. So I'm guessing that's his work. Um, that's pretty much it for today. In fact, I'm just about to go off and get dinner. Um, and I will update you, um, very briefly afterwards and then I've got to go to bed reasonable time because I've got to get up, go to Munich, get on a plane, all that kind of shebang tomorrow. So uh, see you in a moment. Well, I'm so full I might explode because I had that and then that and then that and then that. Oh, delicious though and the service is amazing. 
So, I think I'm gonna go and collapse now. See you in the morning. Goodbye. Morning. So, the weather basically hasn't changed since um, the second day here. It started snowing the uh, second night after I arrived, and... Yeah, and it's still snowing. Uh, we've had about, I don't know, a foot and a half now. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> it probably, I mean, this is probably totally normal. What do I know? It probably carries on like this for, most likely, for, for weeks. So, uh, prob probably the best time to leave before it's just not possible for me to do so. I've still got a bit of a cold, not entirely surprising, probably my own fault. Um, anyway, today I'm going to go and spend some time in Munich, that's the plan, the bus can leave, I'm just going to go and check if the bus actually works. down to the station. So this is Munich, Hauptbahnhof, main train station. Interesting name for a train. And I'm going to try and find someone to put some left luggage. So here we are in the middle of Munich. Say the middle. It's not very precise because I don't know where. <laughs> Train station's kind of down that way past this impressive building and the church thing. There used to be a festive market of some variety. So let's head that way. It's not what you'd call busy on the ice. Bar a couple of bears. It's a very strong smell of glue vine there. Here comes the only skater. Impressive stuff. <laughs> This is Marianne Platz, the main Christmas market. This is the inside of the town hall, the little wood stand where I just bought the board, which opens out onto the market itself. There would normally be more market here, but they're doing a bit of archaeology. Seem to have found quite a lot. Keep expecting to see Tony Robinson appear and tell us what's going on. Slightly crazy shopping centre with plants hanging from the ceiling. It's like an indoor jungle. Very nice though to get out of the rain. Tell me you don't think that's really creepy. They're everywhere. Little animatronic Christmas displays. There's a Bambi over there. There's even a talking moose. This is the medieval Christmas market. Can tell because there's people dressed in medieval clothing, and they all have nice old huts. 